Welcome back to the homeowner series in GTA 5. Today will be an exciting but busy day here for us. We will be moving into the new mansion. The story is a few days ago I found a listing for a brand new construction modern mansion in Malibu on the beach. I made an offer and they accepted us. The next day I put our house up for sale and it sold within a few hours. Today we will be moving all of our cars, trucks, and toys into the new property. Over last day I had been bringing over one car at a time with a truck and trailer, and I did hire a moving company for all of the furniture. Although I really enjoyed this property, it was time to make a uh, change. Many of you guys have been requesting me to get a house with a full interior. This one has a full interior, full working garages, and a lot more features that this one didn't offer. Everything is uh, gone here and over to the new house. I just gave the key to a real estate agent so let's hop here in the GMC Don and Ollie and make our way to the new house. I'm really excited for this move here. It's going to be a lot of work here for us, but this new property is amazing. It's right on the water in Malibu, and because uh, with everything going on, I was able to make a little bit of profit from our current house as well, which was pretty neat. All of these GTA 5 videos here are rated for all ages. And I hope everyone's having a fantastic day so far. Let me know how it is down below. My day's uh, been uh, so far so good. We should be coming up here on the house really soon, and there it is. So our address is 7709. This is a pretty cool house mod with a full interior and everything. Let's wait for these cars to go by, and let's go in. We do have a full functioning gate here. Look at this. This house right from the roadway looks so, so cool. So we'll do a full tour of the house, and then we'll get going on getting everything situated. But all of the sport cars, everything is here. I even took out uh, the can and the dirt bike from storage but I think right here is a good spot uh, to kind of get parked up and first I, I want to check out uh, the garage and also what's over here so it looks like we do have a basketball court here which is awesome look at that we got our own private basketball court here which is awesome looks like we do have a ping pong table over here which is neat uh, we do have a garage door and let's see so full working garage door is definitely a big improvement and look at this guys this is like a uh, dream garage here this is awesome we should be able to fit all of our sport cars in here and we have a flat screen tv in the garage so that's pretty neat over here is beach access, which is awesome, and more than likely, uh, we will be doing some pretty cool things there on the beach. So it's kind of full, uh, take a walk around on the outside. It does come here with a golf uh, cart, which is nice, and looks like a few uh, golfing. Oh yeah, we could uh, golf here and just kind of shoot them into water. That's uh, pretty funny there. Here is a pool, look at that, so we have a hot tub, pool, I mean this is a brand new house, they just finished building it a few weeks ago and I bought it, so look at that, I do want to go, oh look at that, nice cool bridge, and more than likely we'll uh, buy a yacht and the dock will be anchored probably right where the yacht is, but this is awesome, just look at this outside area. Now this house I believe is over a 4,000 square feet so it's a pretty big one and there's another uh, beach axis down there and up here uh, there's some nice decks with trees and everything. And let's head on the inside here so this is one of the many uh, many uh, bedrooms lots and lots of areas. Here we do have a gym area look at all of those weights so we could definitely work out and we'll just kind of keep walking through the house. Looks like we do have a downstairs over there. Over here, look at this office here. We'll be able to play farms and definitely uh, and have some uh, great time and we'll continue. Let's see. So I'm not sure what's over here. This is actually a recording studio uh, for music, which is pretty neat. And look at that. Wow, that is awesome. Definitely uh, I can make some videos in here. And if we go downstairs here, there's quite a lot of things as well. Look at that. We have an indoor area there, a ton of cool stuff, and the main door here. We won't go over the entire house just because it's just so, uh, so big. But I really want to get going on getting all these parked up. really want to clean out our driveway. And a few things, we will be taking the trailers out of storage. And I think we'll probably just uh, put them alongside here, kind of tucked back in that area there. But why don't we get started parking the Porsches? 
Let me know down below in the comments, guys, what do you think of this brand new house? I saw this house mod a few days ago, and I, and I thought this would be the perfect house for this series. It really fits us pretty well as a full working garage. Probably one of the best house mods I've ever seen in GTA in general. This thing looks awesome. So we'll get all the Porsches, just how we do in a line. Uh, but this time, they are all going to be inside. One of the first times uh, that everything will be kept indoors and out of the weather. This GT3 here will keep an easy access. This will probably be uh, the Porsche I drive a lot. We do want to leave enough room there to walk in between, and that looks to be good. Perfect. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, should we back the cars in or drive them in? Uh, it really depends, and I might uh, kind of mix and match them. I think that will be a neat thing to do as well. This is definitely one pretty cool house here. Now, with the homeowner series, I really want to incorporate more things with our job as a real estate developer. So we'll be going around the area, buying houses, uh, selling houses, and fixing them up to kind of make the series even more realistic. That is uh, so cool there to have full working garage doors and all that. Now, in this area over here, we should be able to also put the Raptor and the Can-Am, uh, so I think we'll do that next, right there, not too much uh, further back, but we got all the Porsches inside, look at that, that looks awesome, really do like these garages, let's see, can we put the uh, Can-Am and then the uh, dirt bike inside right now? I really do enjoy the homeowner series here in GTA 5. It's a lot of fun. Uh, we do have a, an amazing car collection. Definitely a dream collection. And now a dream house as well. So let's see. Can we fit this? Oh yeah, this will be able to fit. And then we'll put the dirt pike right there. Oh yeah, the Raptor will fit as well. And here's the dirt bike. We could probably take the dirt bike out to the beaches and have some fun as well. But uh, with uh, being a beach house now, I do want to buy a jet ski, things like that as well. And a speedboat, a yacht. So those will be coming soon. A lot of cool things to come here with the move to the new house. Let's see. Can we get to the Raptor? Yes, it's going to be a little tight. Uh, but I, I would like to kind of get this parked up right now. Since we'll be driving the Tesla every day, just to kind of go around town, I won't put that in the garage. It will be right out front of the door. I think that's going to be the easiest way to use it. And let's pull the Raptor in the garage here. Look at that. So many vehicles are already fitting than ever before, and uh, we are just getting started. We got four, five, six, seven vehicles in another three. So ten vehicles in total uh, will fit inside here. Wow, that is a lot. And under this little port area, we'll put the uh, Denali as well. That will be its parking spot. Let's see. Can we get this as close as we can here to the door? Really don't need to use that walking door. I don't think we'll really plan to use it right there. Seems to be good. Perfect. I will be keeping a hold of these four GTs for quite a long time. They're actually a pretty good investment here for us. Both have gone up in values, and they're in a pretty low mileage as well. But I think it might be time here for us to add a Lamborghini or a Ferrari to the fleet. And if we do, I definitely might want to go with a Performante or maybe a V12. I think those would both be cool. Awesome, got the door closed. Let's put the C8 Corvette inside. Now this one more than likely will be uh, sold probably for that new addition. Try to fit this inside here. But I hope you guys are excited for the homeowner series and farm sim. We do have some pretty epic videos. A lot of videos to come with it as well, which is awesome. Right there seems to be good. Perfect. Let's get that Denali parked up. Move the Tesla. And I think we'll probably call it a day soon. I wanted to get all our toys put away before I went and brought the trailers here just because I definitely want there to be enough room as well for them. And finally, let's move the uh, Tesla. It could probably be parked here as well, but I, I kind of like it out front, uh, quick and easy uh, to get to. Yes, out front here under this little carport area will be perfect. 
a little bit further back, and there we go. It's been a long day here for us, but we got everything moved in. This garage here is now full with all of our toys, uh, which is pretty awesome. We can't use that door, which is a no problem, but look at this, guys. We got all the toys inside here. This looks awesome. Definitely a dream garage here, which is pretty, pretty cool. We got the uh, Raptor. We got the dirt bike. All these cool things in it inside the garage now, and uh, just one pretty cool house. I think we'll end today just kind of going and taking a look down below at the beach, and we'll definitely have to have a contractor come out and build us a dock. Uh, that's probably something we do need. You guys can see all the concrete, lots and lots of concrete uh, to have a nice and stable house there. But there we go, guys. We moved from Pinewood Hills to the Malibu beaches, and I think that was a really good decision here for us. And we got a nice indoor pool as well. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video here moving into the brand new property. I can't wait for what's to come here with this series. A lot more cool things and I think we'll grab a bite of pizza here as well. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one and subscribe for more.